Does anyone have physical pain that I can help with? So I just want to check in with Veronica again quickly there. Um, so you said that you have, because I'm, I'm quite fascinated by, it's quite an interesting case that you also have. I mean, you're listening, you also have, but um, I kind of like, it's an interesting one that Veronica has there. I'm just curious, with the ovary pain, that's the one that you feel that you are aware of at the moment. You can actually rate that out of 10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, because... Would it be fair to say for demonstration purposes that we tackle and look at the ovary pain, but the knee pain I feel and, and the lower back pain, I don't, it's going to take, there's a few extra components connected to that. It's not going to just be one session because I can see it being related to the feminine and the suppression of being, you know, under the, the thumb and the authority that which is the knees, I can see that, and the lower back as well, having to bear the burden of so much, like emotional responsibility, feeling emotionally responsible for people. But that it's like that that the knee and the lower back is that softer side of your personality. Where the right ovary is like the more like the 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 masculine side of your personality that's too much in the masculine rather than the feminine. And I feel that if we tackle the ovary, it's already going to resolve 50% of the lower back and the knee issues. And then if you address that in a second session, it will go fast. It's true because I'm still struggling. You know, I was always uh, a lot uh, in, a, let's say, defensive uh, or, um, you know, to, to protect myself. You don't have to tell me, I can see it. <laughs> Your ovaries are telling me that. And it, and more in a, a male energy and now I'm you know like a little I'm still on you know one feet on one side another feet on another side and I'm not like you know sure where to go exactly because it's the conflict uh, yeah. yeah it's the conflict because the feminine feminine energy was showed me always uh, like um, um, something uh, you know to ob obey energy it's weak yeah it's but weak. there's part of you that wants to step into it but yes. you're fighting it and that's why you're having this pain in the lower back and in the knees i can see that so i think would it be fair for you with you if you and i work on the ovary pain for the demonstration and then the other half it's it's kind of related but not enough to nail it successfully that's that's my point it's absolutely okay. I just have to be honest about what I'm seeing here. Okay. Yeah. So Veronica, is it okay if we record this? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Because I've already done so many videos about PCOS and ovaries and ovary cancer and stuff like that. Like this would be, women will love you. They're absolutely going to love you. Okay. All right. So Veronica. Thank you for joining me here for our paid demonstration. And so you and I have already had a quick brief discussion with the class about, you know, what we're going to be working on, which is ovary pain on the right hand side. And so what I would like to do is just to have a bit of a more of a conversation with you regarding that. And firstly, let's start with when did the pain in the right ovary start? Uh last start has started uh, four or five years ago uh, not years uh, days ago just the last one mm -hmm. sorry so it's it came back again so and but when did it initially first time when did it become problematic the first time in your life okay. so, um, I started to be in a relationship with my partner. Okay. And how many years ago was that? Uh, 25. Okay. First time. Is it me I breaking up or is it Veronica breaking up? And it was the, uh, 
No, I uh, was using control. No, it's I'm not working. Is it me? Can you guys can you see me, Veronica? Is is my sound okay? I can I can I can. Okay. Yeah, it was breaking up a little with you a bit. Yeah, it's me then. Okay, sorry about that. I just don't know what's what's causing it. Please continue. I'm listening. Yes. So with a relationship 25 years ago. 25 years ago, and I started uh, to to be sexually active. Yeah. And uh, it was uh, I stopped using contraceptive pills mm -hmm. for a while, and uh, uh, the ovary I had the uh, cyst cyst on on the right ovary. And in that time, the only way how to get rid of this was the operation. So, and since that time, it comes back sometimes, not very often. But I can relate it. And there is a good point when I, let's say, uh, uh, have some relationship problems, it, it starts to <laughs> start to come back. Okay, because, yeah. you know, just looking at the psychosomatics of, of ovaries and, you know, how they work, and also given that it's on your right-hand side, because right-hand side is masculine, it's all about leadership, you know, and it's, it's the opposite of being feminine. And the ovary also is all about our relationship to ourselves, relationship to our, to our capacities and also our creativity. But what I'm also then hearing, and, and the patterning of what you said, of having that starting in relationships, which was with the masculine. Yeah. Right? Okay. And so, yeah, so there's some challenges there. There's some conflict. Let's explore that conflict that's there because there's, there's, a, there's, some, there's something is happening. <laughs> Is it okay if you if we just dive a little bit into yes, like yes, what the conflict is, or even just how the conflict made you feel? Mm -hmm. Powerless, definitely. Got it. Uh, there is a like a, a huge tense inside, like you know, like the, like I I should explode by angry <laughs> or something like this. Um, you do. And, and there is a lot of injustice. Got it. Take your time. There, there is, there is a lot, a lot of angry, like mm -hmm. crazy, something like crazy. Mm -hmm. And something like something what I uh, uh, I don't have, you know, I, I can't control. And with this, it comes like um, like I'm stuck. And there is no way to move and find a solution. Like, you know, I'm not able to find solution. Oh. So it's still hopelessness, I think. And what do you hate the most about this situation? <laughs> that I can't, I can't control it, or you know, I can, yeah. I can influence it. You know, I, I can do whatever I, I, I want to do, but it's like oh, I can't. <laughs> Perfect. So we know where the physical pain is, guys. We have the emotions. We have what you hate to resist about it. Now, what I would like to know is. When we connect to this, mm -hmm. where in the body do you feel this? Where's the home for these emotions? Stomach. Okay. Got it. And it goes also to the heart. Heart. But it's not so strong. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And where do you feel... Where's the emotion for that part of you that feels like so out of control of these situations? Right. 
Where? Inside. Inside. Or, or you mean, you mean where in the, in the body? Yeah. Yes, it's the stomach. It's like, you know, it's like yeah, the center of my body, like, you know, yeah, stomach, the solar plexus. Mm -hmm. I'm just so curious because the solar plexus is normally our, and the sternum is, is how we relate to dad and stomach is mom. I'm just curious, what was mom and dad's relationship like with each other? Was it kind of conflicting? It was really, really terrible. Yeah, you know? I can tell that. Just very violence. Violence. Yeah. violence oh, you know. okay. Often, often, very, very demanding, and you know, I, I didn't, I didn't have any time to, you know, to relax because I didn't know from which side the, you know, something will come. And my dad was drinking alcohol all the time, and and he beat us a lot, so. I created a huge, uh, let's say, threshold for the pain. But I was, I was a very good train. Uh, I, I trained myself to to be numb a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, so it was very violent and fi always fighting, always fighting. And it's so interesting because not what happened, but the way that your body is reacting because of this, you know, where you're storing these emotions. And I just heard telling me the stomach and the solar plexus with combined with the emotions that you felt, it just brought together for me the history of mom and dad. So, you know, the better you get to know the messages in the body, the easier you'll be able to just go, okay, that's what's going on. That's what's happening. And also because she said stomach first, I realized that her, she probably related the best or better to her mom, but also feeling and taking on a lot of her mom's stress onto herself as well. Yeah. True, because I always wanted to protect her. Exactly. And, and it's impossible when you are a child and, and your father is, you know, drunk and, yeah. <laughs> and beat everybody. What can you do? Nothing. Nothing. But I was, I was still in the role to protect her somehow, and I still wanted to, you know, to resolve this situation. Exactly. The uh, problem solver. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's like, uh, what's, the, what's the, it's like, uh, I cannot remember the word. But like, you know, I, I, I was like in the center and everything went through me. Uh, it's, you could you guess. The buffer, like the buffer. Yes, and scapegoat. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So scapegoat wow. energy. This was very helpful. Perfect. So even even if you didn't want, I, I felt comfortable to have the conversation with her because I could feel that she would be open to answering that. But normally if you have a client and you don't really want them to go too deep into the history, just them saying already these aspects combined with that emotion that will already tell you exactly what's going on. You know then what you're dealing with. Okay, that was very helpful. Thank you so much for that. Uh, thank you for the confirmation. That was, that was excellent. Okay, so we have guys inside the body. So Veronica, I would like you now to tell me when you connect to these emotions, when you connect to these feelings, how does your physical body react? Uh, the stomach is shrinking and I'm like, you know, trying to protect myself again. <laughs> To cover up, to hide. Ah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anything else? Uh, yes, and there is uh, a lot of fighting instinct. Mm -hmm. I was waiting for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, because, you know, I was always fighting for my truth. <laughs> yeah. Um, so fighting and... I think the numbness is is there as well, you know, like, oh, what's going on? What's wrong with me, or something like this? Mm -hmm. uh, just to just to shrink to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Right, so we have hide and fight. Perfect, doing great. Veronica, when you connect to these feelings, mm -hmm. 
when you think back to that time or just when you are aware of the emotions what is the most positive dominant need that you have connection connection oh we have a theme for connection yeah. today it's yeah. perfect yes. I realized this uh, some time ago yeah. that uh, I somehow related to this uh, toxic uh, connection with my parents or father. Yeah. So I was like, oh my God. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. yeah, that was the connection. And the only thing I was, you know, I. Uh, um, I was taking, how is it the word? I was taking noticing. You know, so uh, it gave me some attention. Right. So the connection and attention. There we go. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. So I'm just curious because I heard a lot of stress with mom and dad. Would you like to disconnect from mom and dad? Of course, we're having positive results in this case, balancing out the relationship, but it's completely your choice. Uh, I did disconnection on level one with father. And yesterday I realized, and it's a good, very good feedback yeah. uh, that, uh, I finally started to make a money when I did this. Wow. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and yesterday we did the disconnection from the mother with uh, Jonathan. So I don't know if it's appropriate to do it again today. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll just browse over it if that's okay. We'll just browse over it. Just review. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, I feel good with this. Are you ready? Okay, so Veronica, take a nice deep breath. There we go. And you can close your eyes and just relax. And I would like you just to have awareness of how you feel. Be okay with how you feel. And just before we start, I just want to make sure, do you have awareness of actual pain at the moment? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have like a reference. How much out of 10 would you say it is? Uh, three. Three, okay. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to start the process now. And I'm just gently going to connect with you and close my eyes. And I'll be quiet for about two to three minutes. Okay, and I'm starting now. Okay, Veronica, when you're ready, you can take a nice deep breath and gently come back. So where do you live again? Uh, now, where do I live? Yeah. You mean the country or? Yes. Czech Republic. Oh, cool. I've always wanted to go there and go live at the countryside for a month because it looks like such a fairy tale place. So tell me, <laughs> how are you? I'm okay. You're okay. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> so tell me, how do you feel when you think back to that old problem? Uh, I feel like uh, more free more free mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, you know to 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 feel more power to be you know in my natural state to be the to be the one who I am <laughs> exactly exactly and how does your physical body feel? Interesting because the pain from the knees is gone. <laughs> That's why I took an extra time. I went really, <laughs> I was, the anger was deep and tough. And I told you guys, when you know, when you hear anger, 
take your time and that's exactly what i did <clears throat> wow. and the ovary is also very good i i mean like uh blossoming or something like this you know oh nice yes yes i know what you mean yeah. very good very good thank you very much thank you very much no so you thank feel you. well i'm not done yet wait <laughs> so i know but i i, I wanted to thank you because oh. to me it's like wow <laughs> happy to be of service but so so tell me um did you want to do like dimensional work or anything like that you don't have to it's completely optional you can play with that during the healing swaps as well and just it actually it actually happened during the session you know i saw some parts oh, of me already happened. so it has already happened that can happen guys as well so that's that, don't be surprised if that happens it doesn't always happen but it can and that's awesome high five to you yay good job good job can we <laughs> there's a delayed high five <laughs> can i do an integration for you Here we go. When you're ready, you can gently come back. And I feel hot now. <laughs> you know. Good. Heat is always a good sign. Remember when a person goes cold? It's because the body normally goes into what's like a little temporary shock. And it's to stimulate the, the shaking feeling. Because when you cold, you shiver. For the atomic nervous system to release. But when there's heat, it's normally a good sign. It's also healing. What happens is when the person that's been through what she's actually been through, because of all the tension and the stress and the defensiveness and the feeling unsafe from her life, your body and your cells literally become so clogged, so tense, that the vessels, like the veins and the small little blood vessels, literally also become tense. And when you finally relax, every cell in your body relaxes and suddenly the blood flow just goes Whoosh. It just flows more easily. And that's why also the heat is felt and the lymph nodes as well starting to be um, a little bit kick-started there as well. So very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, much for, for um, I'm so happy that you can imagine. <laughs> um, if you're happy, then I'm happy. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. I wish I could hug you with <laughs> a virtual hug. Hi guys, thank you for joining me and remember to grab your copy of Metaphysical Anatomy on Amazon 679 Medical Ailments and I also wrote about the psychosomatic root causes of that and I'm spoiling you because I even added key points for you to start looking at important questions that you can ask yourself to start improving your quality of life and also remember to catch me on Instagram Yvette Rose one with the digit one and Metaphysical Anatomy on our Facebook fan page. Bye guys!